Uh, the next one is about the enhanced dashboard sample app. It comes from Jinting Care Kenna <laughs> 6271. Uh, I have a problem. My dash table says, uh, say I have a column worker that holds two names in one row. The problem is the control box only pick um, probably one value that holds one name. If the role holds two names, yep. Um, then the particular task is not showing. Is there any workaround? Absolutely. The, the problem you're facing there is a matter of logic syntax. Um, specifically, what's happening there is you're trying to compare um, a single value with a list. The, the problem is you're saying, does this equal the list? And it doesn't. That'll never work out. What, you got to change the logic there and instead of doing an equal sign, switch to the in statement. So um, if I just go to the problem that you're facing, right, is the fact that we've got something like this going on. Now, let's say that perhaps the construction type column for this table was not an equality, right? It is not a single value. That type is a list column instead. So it has a whole bunch of types. How can I change this so that it works? Okay, the thing is you have to do apples for apples, right? So my filter construction type, okay? So like right now, this is a single value and right now this is a single value. Okay, so if I was to change this, I would want, let's, I'm gonna change this to where they're both lists, right? Okay, when you do that, what you do is you have to use is not blank intersect this Com excuse me, this combination right here, this is not blank intersect thing. What this does is it tells the system, there's two parts to it, right? So intersect tells the system, I've got two lists, put them together and give me the common items. Now think about that. So I've got two lists and give me the common items. So I've got a list of type categories over here and I've got a list of type categories over there. Do they share any? If they do, create a list of the things that are shared. Then I wrap that in an is not blank. Okay, now I've got my logical statement of, is this a yes or no? Is there a common value? Yes, show this record. No, don't show this record. So that's the idea with this is not blank intersect idea. You would say is not blank intersect, and then you gotta split up the intersect list. So like this would be a, the first list, and then I would come down here and then I would extract out this would be a list here. All right, but here's a special thing that I'm gonna throw in here is that you can't just leave that like it is because this is a, uh, uh, we're getting into the weeds here. That, can, that filter construction type column value that you're pulling is a list of things, right? So like I gotta prepare this. First thing I do is the index thing that pulls out this individual list out of this list right here. Like the current user filter construction type, that's a list of all of those things over there. The filter construction type is a list. See, it's a list of lists. The index gives me that first list by itself, but it's flat. It's not a list, it's a string value. So you have to put it back into a list in order for AppSheet to be able to work on it. And you do that through split. So you say split that, and we're gonna split it by space, comma, space, because that's the value that's used for the default separator. And then that would be the formula that I would use for this. And you can see uh, it's not, because none of these are lists, but like I would say, this would be a list, and then this would be a list. And so then I'm saying, cool, intersect those two lists and give me the common values between those two and then wrap that whole thing in an is not blank because what, again, you gotta keep in mind where we are, we're in a slice filter, right? We're trying to decide, should we show a record or not? So are there common elements? Yes, show the record. It's all a matter of syntax, right? And these sort of things like you often get into the weeds on why some things work and some things don't. Um, but yeah, if you have any further questions about this sort of stuff, let me know and I will help you out as best I can.